Hi guys and welcome. So I'm going to show you how to get the Meteorite of Estelle. This is a great spell if you're a caster, a mage, and this does use, just so you know, 55 intelligence. So the only boss you have to beat really is this one, Estelle. So I'm going to show you what I did. You have to really get out of the first way of this blast. This is the first thing that Estelle does. Then you can summon your Mimic or whatever distraction you want to use. The tail also has a couple blows that's going to do a lot of damage, so you have to try to dodge those if you can. This is only my second attempt at Estelle, so this isn't a perfect run by any means, but uh, it's not that difficult of a boss, kind of like a mini-boss. So once she flies around, she's going to try to hit you with magic, or he, and then you can also go for the body here a little bit, but also you have to be aware of the damage that it can do just from the explosions. So it does these different things below or above, it teleports, it can also shoot things from afar. So the best thing that I would say is just to do your distance. So if you're a mage like me, Rock Sling is always effective. Try to get your summon in there, but because you're far away, it's probably not going to do that. But anyway, just keep blasting. Try to keep knocking off some health. I'm going to use my Wing of Estelle sword and just use the magic there, the, the stars. That's the built-in Ash of War. So we're going to teleport again. And anytime you're close to the body, you can always just slash away. And once you see this explosion coming, then you typically want to get out of there. For me, I probably stood here too long. But just keep chipping away. There, I should have ran out, and I didn't. Again, just my second attempt, so I'm not an expert here. There, it's going after my summon, so that's good. Then you can hack away. You can also rock sling from a distance, whatever choice you want to do. Not that difficult of a boss. However you do it. But it seems like any time these explosions happen where it looks like it's going to teleport, you want to get out of the way. It also uses the Meteorite of the Stealth. Otherwise, you can definitely use your distance. My Mimic isn't doing too much, but it is doing some distraction at least. And Estelle is basically finished. So now, your reward is going to be a Meteorite of Estelle. So this is very useful, especially if you're taking on a large enemy or a group of enemies. And I'm going to show you where to find this. So on the map, it's in the Consecrated Snow Fields. So right here, the Annex Tunnel is where you want to go to, which is just beside the Annex Ruins. So you're probably going to start here, or here. So either way, just come to this area. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you get here. These are the yellow ruins, yellow annex ruins, not sure how to say that. You just want to come around this way, but there's also going to be a kind of an invisible boss that just appears here. And it can do a lot of damage, so if you want to stay by the ruins, it's probably best. But that's what it looks like, and it can really hurt you. But just keep running, keep running. You'll go up here to the left of these ruins, you're going to see some smoke there. You can see it just off to the side, and that's from the campfire that I'll show you. So the ruins are right there. Just go around this way, and it's on a lower cliff side. So you can see the fire from somebody, maybe a merchant was there. Keep going and you're going to see a tunnel. And that's where you want to go into to fight Estelle. And you can make your way through most of this yellow annex tunnel, which is right here again. But you will have to beat Estelle to get the meteorite of Estelle. So once you come down, there'll be a Site of Grace that you can touch. Right here. And otherwise you can just keep going through it. It's not the largest of tunnels, so you can go through it pretty quickly. Hang right here. Keep going. You can also drop down there for some goodies. Otherwise you can just go straight ahead. And Estelle is just going to be through these doors. It's also kind of another mini, mini boss if you go down this way or if you come from that way. But, you can defeat them, then you come through these doors, and that's where I just fought Estelle, right there. So with the Meteorite of Estelle, it does take 55 intelligence, as I said. So here you want to free up some space. If you do have your spells all taken up, you just want to free up two spots. And there you can see it, FP cost is 60. So once we get the spell there, I'm just going to demonstrate for you how it looks like and how effective it is. 
This is the effect of it, which is pretty cool. And you can actually hold this, so you can hold the button. It'll just take care of all your FP to make the meteorites fall as long as that lasts. So you can just hold it, and it'll keep going until your FP is gone. And for this spell, you could pair it up with the Radagon Scar Seal. You could also use the Old Man's Talisman, also God Freeze. That'll give it a bit more potency. So now I'll demonstrate on these guys. So it does work really good for groups. If they're close to you, or if they're lumped together, it'll just do some devastating moves like this. Some devastating damage. On one small boss, I would say it's not as effective, but the Giants, it does work quite well. Does pretty quick work them, and I didn't even use it all the way. Here again, another Giant. Pretty easy. And this seems to have been debuffed since the 104 update, but still it's a quite effective spell. Here you can see two Giants taken down really easily. And last one here. Even from a distance, it's really effective. So a really good spell, definitely worth having. Hopefully this video gives value to you. Hopefully you can make use of this spell. And if you do like the video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider it. Also helps my channel out. And you can also check out my Twitter and Instagram accounts and also my Rumble channel. Appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video. You guys take care.